Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ecom Himalay, and in today's video, we are going to see how we can change WooCommerce boring email to something that will look more professional, attractive, and good looking. I'm going to provide you all this information for free, so don't make sure that you watch the entire video very carefully because today's video is going to be very important, guys. And for those who are new to this channel, we are actually creating a playlist on how to create an e-commerce or dropshipping website from scratch, the one that you can see right now on my screen. The best part is that you don't need to have any coding knowledge. I've already created a video. The link for that playlist will be in description below and in iCard button above. This is our 13th video in the same series and today we are going to see how we can change WooCommerce boring email to something that will look more amazing and attractive. If you have an e-commerce or uh, store, a WooCommerce store, you need to make sure that the email that you send to your customer will look more professional, trustworthy and will be different from other people and are not simple guys because these are the first email that a customer will be receiving from you you wanted to make sure that they will look amazing okay so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do that for free and people are actually charging this for this particular skill but i am going to provide you all this information for free so make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video a big thumbs up in order to see how we can change it we need to log in into our wordpress website guys in order to log in we need to enter domain name followed by wp admin after that you need to enter your user credential guys i have my user credential here so i'm going to enter the same so guys as you can see i have created a local host in my pc which means i can edit and create this website for free in my pc i have already created a video in which i have shown you how you can create a local host for free the link for that will be in description below and in icard button above once we log in into our dashboard, our dashboard is going to look like this. We need to head over to WooCommerce and there you'll be getting an option for settings guys. We need to click on settings and after that you'll be getting all this option guys. I've already created a video in which I've shown you how you can uh, set all these settings. I've also shown you how you can set taxes, different different taxes, how you can set shipping, how you can charge different shipping for different products as well. If you haven't watched it, the link for that will be in description below and in iCard button above. So once we head over to email notification, these are the set of the emails that are going to be sent by WooCommerce or uh, that are going to be sent by WooCommerce to you or the customer. So the first three emails are going to be sent to um, me, which is the admin of this particular shop and other emails are going to be sent to the customer. Okay. So here we need to make sure in which name a customer or us will be receiving this email so by default it is set to my uh, to my shop name but what i can do i can set it something like hello at the rate pet shop something like this if you want you can have anything here guys in address guys you need to make sure that you don't enter any gmail or yahoo email here you need to make sure that you enter professional looking email which is going to be something like uh, info at the rate uh, your domain name okay so for my case let's suppose i have a domain pet shop dot in so i'll be entering something like info at the rate pet shop dot in okay info at the rate pet shop dot in in my upcoming video i'm going to show you how you can create this email for free as well so make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss out that email uh, but for now on we will keep it as gmail but uh, if you have an e-commerce store then you need to make sure that you enter your uh, professional looking email right so here in footer text by default it is set to like this and if i click on preview guys i'll be getting a preview of this particular email the by default email that our woocommerce sent it so this is the by default email that woocommerce sent it and it is going to look like this i don't like it so i will put it something like i'll remove thank you will be enough i guess and here if i want i can put heart emoji here as you can see this this is the website emojipedia here you can copy emojis i'll enter something like this the base color of my website is uh, according to my website as you know I, we have created this particular website so depending on your website you can use this extension colorzilla and here you can you know select the color of your store and then you can copy it and you can paste the hexa code here guys so once we done all the setting we need to hit click on save changes uh so these are the changes for by default emails 
and in order to change our email we need to head over to plugin we are going to use one easy method so we'll click on add new once we click on add new we need to install this plugin guys let's copy it and paste it here okay so the email uh, the name of the plugin is make email customizer for woocommerce you need to scroll down guys after scrolling down you'll be getting this particular plugin guys click on install now make email customizer for woocommerce by excellent dynamics okay and uh, meanwhile i also wanted to show you guys something let's head over to appearance let's head over to theme so guys if you wanted to increase the conversion rate of your store you need to make sure that you watch these videos very carefully uh, i have created a video in which i have shown you how you can create a child theme for free and after that i have created a video in which i have shown you how you can use this child theme to optimize your cart page after that i have shown you how you can optimize your checkout page using this child theme and in my previous video i have shown you how you can save the abandoned checkout details of the customer and can send them an automatic emails through which you will be able to save your purchase and get uh, more profit or more conversion for your e-commerce or dropshipping website i'll be linking all of them in description below and some of them in icard button above so make sure that you watch those video very carefully guys because we wanted to ensure that we will be more profitable so we don't want to miss out any purchase so you need to do optimization on each and every level so once it is installed i'll click on activate guys once it is activated as you can see it is activated successfully i need to head over to woocommerce and here i'll be getting an option for email customizer once i click on it then here i'll be getting all this option so in email theme the original one is looking like this okay so we need to click on yellow one and then click on use once you click on yellow one click on use then you'll be getting this format which is looking nice okay so let's hit on customize because we wanted to change few things here as you can see we wanted to change this so here we'll be getting an option for appearance and in header in header color let's have white okay let's have white here let's hit on publish and in header i'll be getting an option for left let's put it as center and in logo what we wanted to do we wanted to upload our logo guys for that you need to head over to canva once you click on it you will be redirected to page you need to sign in after that you need to click on create design guys and here you'll be getting an option for custom size here you you need to enter width and height guys so for the first one for for the first image the first image is header and the second one is going to be footer from here so what we are going to do for this is for header for header the images are going to be looking like this 470 into 90 pixel guys so once we are going to do we are going to click on download and here you need to select jpg 470 into 90 470 pixel width and 90 pixel height okay hit on download okay uh, for the sake of video i have already created this one and for footer we need to create 250 pixel into 51 pixel 51 pixel is height and 250 pixel is width guys and here you can enter the same 250 pixel into 51 or 470 into 90 guys okay so I'll hit on share and there will be getting an option to download click on jpg guys and then hit on now okay so once we have done all of this we'll go to email customizer and we'll click on upload here we'll upload this one let's upload this one click on choose image okay and for footer as well let's upload this one choose okay so let's see how it is looking like right now. Right now. Let cancel, save and publish. Okay. Let's remove this one. So it is looking like this. Pet store here i wanted to remove powered by woocommerce so i'll hit on customize button guys and here i'll be getting in footer i'll be getting an option 
so i can choose something like site name thank you and let's put hurt emoji here copy put hurt emoji here okay let's save and publish it so our email are going to look like this so this is for new order guys this is for new order for processing order the email data customer is going to receive is going to be look like this okay and as you can see it is looking very nice guys compared to by default email that is going to look like this so we have changed it from something that will look like this and one of the best part of about this plugin that all the settings for other has already been done if i go to refunded order you can see the header and footer will remain same if you want you can change the text here as well guys right hit on processing order and hit on customize okay so here you'll be getting a text so order is being processed or you can enter your order has been successfully placed or uh, you can change anything that you want guys so this is how you can change woocommerce by default email to something that will look like this in my upcoming video i'm going to show you i uh, will be discussing about domains brand name company name i'll be answering few frequently asked question and i'll be uh, providing you resources where you can download where you can uh, purchase domain at a minimum cost so next video is going to be amazing guys make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and if you have any feedback let me know in the comment section and for those who haven't watched my playlist yet the playlist is on the screen right now you can click it i'll see you next one guys bye bye take care